It's now 35 days since former Inspector General of Police General Kale Kayura was picked up on 13th June from his upcountry home in Kashagama, the Antonde district. He was subsequently confined at Makinde military barracks and is yet to be produced in court. So it's not clear what charges he faces, but there has been a lot of speculation in the mainstream and social media. That's why you see these raids, because they are trying to fish this evidence here and there. And whenever they subject it to the intelligence community, it crumbles, so they are back to square one, they are back to forging. That is why, despite the screaming headlines of evidence A, evidence B, evidence Y, the man has not been charged in court. The witnesses are brought in court. They are not brought at a press conference. General Kayura, who is a serving soldier, was the police chief for about 13 years. According to his lawyer, the general is now asking President Yuri Museveni to intervene in what he feels is injustice against him. On all the other cases, and the commander in chief has asked everything to be double checked. He will still demand that everything be double checked in this matter. That confidence is unshaken for him from the day he arrived in Machindi. I asked Kaihura's lawyer to respond to reports that the general, who the president once described as a loyal cadre, has been pushing to meet him in vain. No, General Kari has not spoken to the commander in chief. As and when the commander in chief deems it, he will speak with him. He's aware. According to Tumwebaze, since his confinement, General Kaihura has neither recorded a statement nor has been interrogated by the army. As a farm would have been, we have agreed with the military, we would be part of that interrogation. Kaihura believes whatever has been released in the media is not evidence, but figments of the imagination of some people. I can tell you for certain that what they have against him now cannot stand scrutiny in even a Taliban court. On the day the former Inspector General of Police General Kale Kaihura was handing over office, he apologized to the Commander-in-Chief and also his junior saying he could have made mistakes during his time. I also asked his lawyers why he was so fast to say that the four-star general is innocent yet that has not been proven by court. Yes, there could have been operational mistakes or some errors of judgment and that's what he said in his statement. They were not deliberate criminal acts. By the time you pick a four-star general, you certainly must have much more than just a rumor, a village rumor. I also asked the lawyer why General Kaihula, who holds a master's degree in law, has not filed for habeas corpus to have him produced in court. Yet, according to the law, a suspect should not be detained beyond 48 hours without trial. We are the ones who are pushing him to apply. And he was saying, no, let these people find whatever they need to find. What I know for certain is that they will find nothing. We also engaged Security Minister General Eli Tumini about Kaihura's complaints. The minds of people are very fertile. Some are creating things. Some of it might be true, some might not be true. So I think the best is be patient and be calm. The Security Minister supervises the intelligence agencies, the Internal Security Organization, ISO, and the External Security Organization, ESO. Sudil Biarhanga, NTV.